So, dude, I got, let's get, let's do wings updates. I'm quite curious. One, okay. is the rumor true that you got a new truck? Yes. What'd you get? 2018 Silverado. Nice. C71. Nice. How do you like it? Uh, it's hard to critique it without people using it against me. Mm. Like, one, I've been very harsh with Chevrolet over the last three or four years, mainly because... But you, Lucille's I, a Chevy, right? You're, isn't that Christine. Her Christine, okay, yeah. yeah. Christine was a Chevy. It was an LS2 iron block. Mm -hmm. But my problem with Chevrolet wasn't so much their product, but their business practices. Like, Chevrolet took closed a lot of, like, factories down without warning and moved them uh, overseas or, like, to Mexico. Mm -hmm. And this was after... Trump had given them a tax break. And before that, um, you had the Obama Bush like sure. stimulus package. Mm -hmm. And like GM's been bailed out twice at this point. And, but at the same time, like I've always enjoyed vehicles I had with Chevrolet. So it's kind of like, eh, eh, eh. and not to mention there's, a, there's an issue I'm having with like sound leakage in the cab of the truck. The truck only has 8,000 miles on it or something like that. Nice. So, it's it's it was a GM certified vehicle, but there's there's it's direct ingest gasoline direct injected, and you can so that means it has high pressure uh, injectors on it, and you can kind of hear them on the firewall under heavy load, like when you're pulling a trailer and stuff, and it sounds like either like a like a, a steering grommet or like some point in the firewall isn't fully insulated, but every time I send it in, they never can hear it. I think my Tacoma had something similar. Like if you really gave it the gas, there was a different kind of sound. It might have been injectors, but I, I think I know what you're talking about. Right, but I, I feel like a truck, like I've driven other people's, uh -huh. and it doesn't have that sound. And I feel like it's a sound leakage is issue. Hmm. It's not really like anything's wrong with the engine. It's just that I'm hearing the injectors through the firewall. So what do you still have? Do you have the Mustang? No. I, have... uh, I, I sold my other truck, and I traded in the Mustang for the equity on it. Okay. Okay. So when I, when I got my F-150, it's also 2018, mm -hmm. I was like blown. I, th I think things that were ordinary for other people were amazing for me. Like power windows. That's pretty slick. Power doors. I mean, <laughs> you didn't have power windows in the coma. Chill, bro. We're not made of money here. <laughs> Come on. Power windows became standard in like 95. It's a 90. Oh, it was an 03. Never mind. But, yeah, it was an 03. Uh, <laughs> but, um, like, so that was nice. But then other things, like my cruise control, if I catch up to the car in front of me, it slows down. That was a big game changer. Oh, like, my wife's car has that. <laughs> Apple CarPlay nice. is nice. Yeah. Apple, it is really nice. It is really nice. Apple like CarPlay is cool. You can set it to 60, and if somebody's like going like 58 in front of you, the car will just adjust for you. You don't really have to break it and reset it or go up and down. It's great. Like, I don't know about you. Mm -hmm. One thing I, I always worry about with cruise control, especially because I drive with cruise control a lot, is wearing the buttons out to the point where they rub out like, like the arrows and stuff. Oh, and, okay. And it, and it'd be a cosmetic issue. I dislike that. And they sell those parts for like 50 bucks a pop at the dealership. Hmm. And it's like, I know I'm going to wear them out. And I know I got to replace them over and over and over again. It, which always makes me wonder, like, how did these buttons on my truck wear out? But my TV remote is good forever. That's a good question. I have no idea. I guess hard plastic versus soft rubber. But yeah, I don't know. I, my truck spoiled me in a bunch of ways that I really like. And I think that other people have been living with these advancements for some time. But yeah, it's also, it's my, uh, it's, I spoiled myself with it. Um, oh, you're married. Half the yes. people I talk to are like, is he really married? Is it a troll? Is he, you married, married, right? I'm married, married, yes. For I, I, obviously, I can't give details about that, but I am married, married. Well, you married about a month now? Two, Two months. Well, congratulations. Yeah. If I got married in a in a private ceremony, then I had we originally were gonna do a big ceremony mm -hmm. and then COVID got really bad. So we decided to do a small thing and we got married. But uh, like she really bought she already paid like eight hundred dollars for a dress, so like she really wanted to use it. Mm -hmm. So in turn I had to go spend money on a suit and all these other things. <laughs> Dude, it was worth so it. You look fucking it, pimp in that suit. I showed it to my oh, whole stream. We all looked at it. You look skinny look, in it. 
there's um well I, I, that was only half the suit i had I, I didn't have like my tails on or my cuff links or anything like that there so there's better pictures i just can't share them okay well fuck i like the picture you did share so yeah because uh, that if anybody's wear a suit jacket suit jackets are not fun to wear especially in south carolina heat summer yeah what say two months ago so it was june-ish Somebody in my chat asked you, do you use trucks for design for more for looks and vibe? I actually have two trailers. I have an enclosed trailer and I have an open trailer that I use for different various things. And I I just like a truck better. I like the utility a truck brings. And trucks nowadays are designed just like, like it's like a bigger crossover. You're going to give away some gas mileage for comfort. And, you know, obviously, uh, what word am I looking for here? Capability. Yeah, there's some utility to it. And I don't know if the guy who asked you the question is a homeowner, but if you become a homeowner, homeowner, you find <laughs> reasons to need a truck. You know, someday yeah. you buy a tool, someday you buy a sheet of plywood or a, a I was about to say like I thing. bought so much plywood because like my I, I live in a mobile home obviously mm-hmm. and they don't have really great floors. So like if you spill any kind of water on them, eventually you got to cut the floor out with a sawzall and you got to put a new piece down. And like I've been slowly but surely replacing my entire floor with like tempered wood that can take water, but the house didn't come with tempered wood from the factory. Yeah. If you have a regular car, how do you bring home a roll of insulation? Like, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I know it'll fit in the back seat, but bro, that sucks. Your, your back seat passengers are going to itch for the rest of your life. So it's nice. Or, or you see a person. At um, I went to Walmart the other day, and this person was trying to stuff a, a sixty-inch Vizio TV into their Malibu. <laughs> <laughs> they had the back seat out on the concrete. They were just trying to get this TV in that little car. Yeah, man, 